hello welcome to my channel in today's video i'm showing you how to design a typographic illustration in corel draw so let's get to that use a simple effect Type out the text in capital letters. Uh, so let's do help in the design tutorial. You can use any font that is bold. I'll be using Sequa Black. Just reduce the tanning for line spacing. So just duplicate this and let's get another right up here so let's do it to land create to learn creative design click here so i just break it into three lines Alright, the first thing we are going to do is just put this one aside. We can uh, get the guidelines from the ruler, place it at any position of your choice. So for this tutorial, I'm going to place this in between the V and the S, so it just cuts across. want to put the typography in perspective so to be able to do that I'll divide this text into two separate parts so first of all ctrl C on your keyboard to copy the text then with a rectangle you draw a rectangle so you can see the rectangle is snapping to where I have my grid line. If yours is not active, you can actually do that. Go to your view menu, snap to, you can see, snap to grid line is checked. If I uncheck it and I draw my rectangle, you can see it's not snapping. It becomes difficult to get that spot. So, but when you have it checked, it's easier for you to snap any objects to the grid line so perfect so having done that select the rectangle hold and shift on your keyboard select the typography and trim okay so you can see that is gone remember we copied earlier so you press ctrl v on your keyboard to paste what we have on the clipboard so we can make the other side so make another rectangle snap it to the grid line and um, select both the rectangle and the text this time we're going to minus from front so you can see we have two different objects now from this typography so to put it in perspective, click on the center to activate the screw or rotate gears. Then you, from the side, you screw, hold down your control key. By default, it screws to the angle of 15 degrees. So I'll do this twice to get 30 degree angle. 
So do the same thing for this. Okay, so this is at 30 degrees angle. Having done this to get the other part of the text in perspective within this area. Okay, so we don't have the free hand to just make a line and rotate it to 330 degrees. Reflect the line, increase the size, just duplicate. We can group all of this line and align them to the bottom. So with the smart fit to make an object. Can delete these lines for now. Okay. So the second text, which is this, I'll just put it in a rectangle. You can give the rectangle, the outline a different line and uh, group both of them. And on the object menu, let's select perspective. So you move this closer. So you just turn this guy. You can actually zoom in to have a better view of line. This tutorial. Let's use these points. Delete the outlines, delete the background, change the colors. So this is how I make this. 